Hello everyone, this is Jay from Bro Gaming TCG, and today we're back with some more Elder Scrolls gameplay. And today I, I, I think I have an interesting topic to talk about, and it's something that I might have uh, glanced over on some of my past videos, but basically how to rank up pretty quickly at the beginning stages. So as you guys know, uh, we're kind of, we're, I guess we're nine days into a month month. Uh, this of the month of September uh, on this upload and you know some of you could be struggling with you know ranking up into these higher ranks more quickly I haven't had a lot of time to play here these past few weeks so I'm kinda missing out and I'm like okay how am I going to rank up make up for lost time you know because I want to get above the rank that I had last uh, month which was nine which I could have gotten a lot higher than that to be honest so I know that I'm a better player than a rank 9, and I'm definitely going to get higher than that this month. Now, how to rank up fast is pretty easy. You basically take a deck like an aggro deck or a mid-range deck that you feel really comfortable with that you know is either going to win very quickly or lose very quickly. And basically, you guys don't actually start getting repercussions for losing in ranked until you get to, I believe, maybe the last one of rank 11 or the first one of rank 10. So after that, you know, you do start losing uh, points for losing in ranked, but it's really easy to get through these first two levels. And as long as, you know, you play quite a few matches and you win more than you lose, obviously, you're going to rank up. So the best way to rank up quickly is going to be simply playing a deck that you know and that you're comfortable with and that you know you're either going to lose very quickly with or win very quickly with because that is going to give you the most amount of games for the time spent. Like this game, it's only like four minutes long. I think I only spent four minutes in this game. It was a very quick game. Uh, both of us tended to play to one side of the board because I immediately knew how he was going to play and what strategy he was taking. He's playing Young Dragonborn, and basically all these decks that play Young Dragonborn just have lo are loaded with shouts just to power up Young Dragonborns. And basically, what you want to do is you want to try to get as many Young Dragonborns out as you can with guarded with one card and just use a bunch of shouts to power them up because it, it is definitely a very good way to uh, win some games very quickly because they can get up to 8, 9 power and there's no way to get them off the field other than a cast out, which I did have one in my hand in case of an emergency, uh, but I really wasn't too worried about it. At this point in the game, I pretty much knew that I had a pretty strong going. I actually get another more call Gatekeeper down and am able to get my Camelorn Sentinel up to a 5-4, which is pretty powerful. But besides that point, I had, uh, you know, this game was incredibly quick due to the fact, you know, it only took seven turns and due to the fact that we were both playing fast decks. Now, some games you're going to get into and they're not going to be as quick. But as you guys see, a lot of the games that I upload are five, six, four minutes long and, mo that, and they're in real time. And just thinking about that if you play a you know a control type deck or a mid-range deck your games are probably a little bit longer they're probably closer to 10 minutes if you're playing a control deck versus a control deck those games can get really long upward into the 15 minute range and that is you you're losing i could play 3 games in that amount of time and win 2 of them and lose 1 you know just to give an actual you know logical statistic winning 2 and losing 1 you know that means i'm up a rank you know, and you've only played one match, and if you lose or win that match, you, who knows, you could be down a rank, you could be up a rank, and f in 15 minutes, who knows how many games I could have played, you know, I, I actually could have ended up playing four games by that time, you played one. So that's just kind of my theory on how to rank up quick, kind of starting off. Now, once you get into the later ranks, after I say about rank A, if you guys can make it past rank A, I would say start slowing your games down, starting to pay more attention to what you're doing, and start thinking logically about some decisions. I kind of start doing that. These r lower ranks that I'm in right now, I really don't think too logically about my decisions, and I just kind of wrap and play just to get through them, just to push myself into those uh, more more uh, comp competitive ranks that I would at least. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. 
Tune in tomorrow for a new Pokemon TCG episode. I am uploading Pokemon TCG tomorrow, so definitely tune in for that. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated. Anyways, guys, this has been Jay from Pro Gaming TCG, and I want to remind you all to always keep on battling and pursue your dreams. Thanks for watching.